Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now you are watching the final part of this uh, sub series. So, in this video, we are going to complete our uh, sample application. So, in this final part of the video, we are going to look at how to use Stream Writer to save the text file content. So in the last video, we displayed a folder browser dialog. Now we will continue from there. Then we will implement this uh, save in temp path also. So as usual, let's uh, go through the quick review of uh, previous uh, six videos. So I will be scrolling through the slides so you can uh, uh, have a quick a glimpse of uh, the past tutorials. So this is what we saw in the previous video. We stopped at uh, folder browser dialog. Okay, now let us uh, continue with uh, saving the file content to a disk using the stream writer. So a folder browser dialog was uh, displayed in the previous video. So user will select the folder browser dialog. They will pick a folder. Then they will give a file name here. So first we are writing a utility function called save file. All it takes is a path uh, for saving the file content. File name is already given. The path is the one which is taken from this folder browser dialog and passed to this uh, save file function. So first we have a string declared, then we are checking a selected path dot length greater than three. So if that's the case, we use selected path so whatever is selected here, that one, then we append a slash here, then we append our file content here, I mean the file name here, then we append dot txt. So here let's say user selected some folder like this. In that case, we will get length greater than three. So there is a possibility that user can select a, a root folder also. So in that case, we will get uh, selected path length as uh, uh, two. That means say less than, uh, I mean, so even if we have this slash, we won't get a greater than three. So the length will be three. So first we take this case. So selected path. This is the selected path. Then we will append this slash. Then txt save file dot txt. We take the uh, save file from this one actually. 
and we will append that let's say in this user uh, typed abc.txt then that will be added here since here we are adding the extension also user if they type just the file name that's enough they don't even need to type the txt so we will get abc from here and txt is appended so this is when user selects a folder so if they select only the drive or the uh, root folder or a root partition then d that will come from here then the file name abc then the extension so if you see here at this stage we have a uh, save file with the path is ready the selected path is from the folder browser dialog other stuff we are forming it from the dialog itself so once we have the destination location we use a file stream it's the same like how we opened the file stream for reading this time uh, we pass the path then file mode we are uh, giving it as a create new so this will create a new file on the specified location why because the location is paused here so on the specified location it will create a new file and uh, give back as the file stream object next we create a stream writer previously when we are uh, reading the file that time we used a stream reader this time we are using a stream writer and the same way here we are passing the file stream object so at this time writer is ready next if you see txt file content.txt writer dot write so here we are directly writing so we are not running any loop but we make use of writer dot write and whatever content we read from this uh, multi-line text box we are uh, passing that here to the write function so the content will be written to c temp ab dot abc dot txt or d drive abc dot txt depends on what path user selected so here i am just taking an example so the content will be written to that specific location then so here we have a label also that's not displayed here in that label label saved location dot txt we state text file saved in then save file path so we specify that here to indicate the user that the uh, file got saved in the specified location so the key here is we are making use of a file stream when we are using the file stream object uh, the file is not yet created or it's not available in the uh, disk so uh, we ask the file stream to create a new file on the specified location next we create a stream reader out of this file stream after that we make use of the write function on the stream writer then we save our multi-line text box content to the location that's all here uh, previously if you see uh, this path was yeah the call was previously commented we now we need to remove the comment So in the previous video, uh, we explained about this in the slide, but uh, we haven't uh, implemented when we, now this time we will uh, um, yeah, remove the comment and we will implement this portion of the uh, code. So there is one more button if you see here. 
we haven't yet implemented this so we will implement this also so btn temp path click once again we make sure the txt file content is visible that means uh, we are making sure user is seeing the uh, multi line text box control so if that is the case we are making call to our custom function save file but this time instead of using the folder browser we use path dot get temp path so this will give temporary location and we pass the temporary location to the save file and save file will perform the um, stream writer operation on this temp path so if this content is not visible we display this standard error message stating that we don't have support to save the picture files now it's a demo time we will go to visual studio demo all right this is where we left our part 6 now we will continue writing our custom function so as already explained in the slide here we will make use of a file stream to create a new file on the specified location then we write the content so the custom function is ready by this time so once a user selected a path just for a safety purpose we are checking selected path is not null that means is null or empty so if that is true then we are displaying a message stating unable to save no folder selected and then we are returning from this uh, button one click button one click is uh, this is save file button click all right so once we pass this uh, validation that means uh, here we have the selected path field selected path is empty initially when user clicks ok to the folder browser dialog uh, we assign selected path and in the next line we make sure that uh, selected path validation is passed so once we come out of this if we have a valid path so next we make sure txt file content is visible that means uh, the sample application is not displaying the picture but it is displaying the multi line text box and some content in it so if that is the case then we make a call to our save file and you know what save file will do save file will uh, save the multi line text box content to this uh, selected path all right so if a picture box is displayed then uh, we say this form saves only text file all right now we will go ahead and implement our uh, temp path functionality so i am double clicking to create the event handler for that so this is also explained in the slide we use path dot get temp path and we pass it to our uh, save file function all right now let us run the content uh, once all right we are done with our coding and we completed our sample application now let's start running it so first i am using the ellipsis button to open a folder browser dialog then i am going for text file filter then i am opening the sample.txt 
So this time I am erasing this content, then I am typing my own. So this time we have our own content. Now save file, I am giving it as my file. Extension it will automatically take it as txt. Even if you type txt, you will end up seeing dot txt two times. All right. So we provided our file name. Our content is ready here. File name is ready. Now we need to choose a folder. So I want to save it in C drive temp1 folder. And you can see text file saved in G temp1 my file dot txt. So I'm opening the explorer. Going to G temp1 you can see my file dot txt that's what we provided here and the content also saved here if I double click and open you can see the content written to a file so you can perform uh, same thing using the save in temp path also once I click it you can see the same file got saved in this location so this is the temp file location in my uh, file system based on the username and other stuff so you can try the same with your uh, box also the path may be different uh, for our system since we printed the save file location uh, you will be seeing in which location the file got saved so now if you see our application supports both uh, image file and if I click save file now, it will state that this file is not supported because so we coded like that. The form saves only text file. So this we check based on the displayed uh, control in the sample application. Now, since we created our text file, we can even open that and view it here itself. Okay, so there is a bug here when we are opening it. So what we have to do, we have to clear the content. So let's make this. Now you won't see that error. So I'm opening a text file. This is my text file. Open. My file one. So I'm using the same location, C drive, temp2, I'm saving it. Okay, it got saved in temp2. Now we will display a picture as we did previously. Then load the text file again. So that's all. So we have to clear this uh, multi-line text box. So we completed this uh, sub-series. Uh, that's all uh, here uh, on stream reader and uh, stream writer. So if you see uh, in these uh, seven sub-series, we learned about uh, how to use the uh, standard dialog components like um, open file dialog and folder browser dialog. So we also learned how to use the stream reader and stream writer 
to read and write the text file contents. Then we also looked at the path utility and it's a method get file extension. So that will be the most frequently used function. So we used the get extension from the path utility. That's all in this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Bye. And you can uh, download the course snippet from the description of uh, this video. Thanks again. Bye.